He utterly hated Esther Williams, now we know the reason why. Jeff Chandler was born Ira Grossel on December 15, 1918, in the bustling borough of Brooklyn, New York. Growing up in a Jewish household, his early years were imbued with the cultural richness and traditions of his heritage. It was within this familial and cultural milieu that Chandler's passion for the dramatic arts began to blossom. From a young age, he found himself drawn to the world of storytelling and performance, captivated by the ability of actors to transport audiences to different realms of emotion and imagination. As he navigated the formative years of his adolescence, Chandler's enthusiasm for acting continued to deepen. He honed his skills and nurtured his burgeoning talent, recognizing the stage and screen as platforms through which he could express himself creatively and connect with others on a profound level. His journey of self-discovery and artistic exploration led him to Erasmus Hall High School in Brooklyn, a renowned institution known for its emphasis on the arts and academic excellence. Here, amidst the vibrant tapestry of student life and the nurturing guidance of educators, Chandler found a supportive environment in which to cultivate his craft and refine his talents. Jeff Chandler's transition from stage to screen marked a significant turning point in his career, as he embarked on a new chapter as a film actor. In the early 1940s, Chandler signed a contract with Universal Pictures, a move that would catapult him into the spotlight and pave the way for his emergence as a prominent figure in Hollywood's golden age. With his chiseled features, commanding presence, and magnetic charisma, Chandler possessed all the makings of a silver screen star destined for greatness. His cinematic debut came in 1947 with Johnny O'Clock, a crime drama that showcased his natural talent and screen presence. While the film served as a modest introduction to the world of cinema, it laid the groundwork for Chandler's subsequent ascent to fame and recognition. However, it was his role in Sword in the Desert, 1949, that truly catapulted him into the limelight, earning him widespread acclaim and establishing him as a formidable presence on the silver screen. As an actor, Chandler possessed a rare ability to imbue his characters with depth, complexity, and humanity, drawing audiences into the heart of the story with each nuanced performance. Yet it was Chandler's portrayal of Cochise in Broken Arrow, 1950, that solidified his status as a bona fide star of the silver screen. His portrayal of the iconic Apache leader resonated with audiences and critics alike, earning him a nomination for the Academy Award for Best Supporting Actor, a testament to his talent and the indelible impact of his performance. Like Cochise, Chandler brought a sense of dignity, strength, and vulnerability to the role, transcending the confines of the Western genre to deliver a performance of enduring power and resonance. Throughout the 1950s, Chandler continued to build upon his success, establishing himself as a leading man in both Westerns and dramas. His rugged charm and undeniable screen presence endeared him to audiences of all ages, while his versatility as an actor allowed him to tackle a diverse range of roles with equal parts skill and conviction. From his memorable turn opposite Joan Crawford in Female on the Beach, 1955, to his commanding performances in The Tattered Dress, 1957, Man in the Shadow, 1957, and Ten Seconds to Hell, 1959, Chandler proved time and again that he was a force to be reckoned with in the world of cinema. Jeff Chandler's personal life was as intriguing and multifaceted as his illustrious career in Hollywood. In 1946, he took a significant step in his journey by marrying Marjorie Hochelle, a union that would shape the course of his life in profound ways. Together, they embarked on a journey of love, partnership, and familial bliss, welcoming two daughters into their midst. Chandler's devotion to his family was evident in every aspect of his life, as he sought to create a nurturing and supportive environment in which his loved ones could thrive and flourish. Beyond his familial commitments, Chandler was also known for his towering stature and ruggedly handsome appearance, characteristics that set him apart in an industry filled with captivating personalities and iconic figures. Standing tall and commanding attention wherever he went, Chandler exuded a magnetic presence that captivated audiences and fans alike. His striking features, chiseled jawline, and piercing gaze made him the epitome of Hollywood's leading men earning him legions of admirers and solidifying his status as a timeless heartthrob. 
However, it was Chandler's off-screen relationships that often sparked the most intrigue and speculation among the public and the press. During the filming of As Young As You Feel in 1951, Chandler struck up a close friendship with Marilyn Monroe, the iconic Hollywood starlet whose luminous beauty and undeniable talent had captivated audiences around the world. As they worked together on set, Chandler and Monroe forged a bond that transcended the confines of their professional collaboration, sharing intimate conversations and moments of camaraderie amidst the hustle and bustle of filming. Yet, their friendship did not come without its share of speculation and gossip, as rumors began to circulate about a potential romantic relationship between Chandler and Monroe. Despite the whispers and innuendos that swirled around them, both Chandler and Monroe vehemently denied any romantic involvement, insisting that their relationship was purely platonic. While their friendship undoubtedly added an extra layer of intrigue to Chandler's personal life, it also served as a testament to the genuine connection and mutual respect that existed between two of Hollywood's most enigmatic and beloved stars. He utterly hated Esther Williams, now we know the reason why. In 1957, Chandler had an affair with Esther Williams while they made a movie together, and his wife filed for divorce at the end of the year. Jeff Chandler confirmed that Esther Williams destroyed two families that once had happiness and loyalty, before that with Victor Mature's family. Chandler revealed, a flirtatious girl who deliberately seduces another man while having relationship problems does not deserve happiness and respect. Esther Williams disclosed in her autobiography that she had an affair with actor Victor Mature while they were working on Million Dollar Mermaid citing that at the time her marriage was in trouble and, feeling lonely, she turned to mature for love and affection, and he gave her all she wanted. The affair stopped while Williams was recovering from her fall during the shooting of Million Dollar Mermaid. During this period Victor Mature was forced to divorce his third wife. She was romantically linked with Jeff Chandler. She claims in her autobiography that Chandler was a cross-dresser and that she broke off the relationship. According to the Los Angeles Times, many friends and colleagues of Chandler's rebutted Williams' claims. Jane Russell commented, I've never heard of such a thing. Cross-dressing is the last thing I would expect of Jeff. He was a sweet guy, definitely all man. Jeff Chandler's life was not without its trials and tribulations, as he grappled with physical ailments that cast a shadow over his illustrious career. Reportedly, Chandler suffered from chronic back pain a lingering consequence of an injury sustained during his military service in World War II. The rigors of combat exacted a toll on his body, leaving him with a constant reminder of the sacrifices he made in service to his country. Despite the pain and discomfort he endured, Chandler remained steadfast in his commitment to his craft, channeling his resilience and determination into his performances on screen. Tragically, Chandler's battle with physical pain would ultimately culminate in a devastating turn of events that shook the world of Hollywood to its core. On June 17, 1961, at the tender age of 42, Chandler passed away due to complications from surgery to repair a congenital spinal defect. The news of his untimely death sent shockwaves through the entertainment industry, leaving fans and colleagues alike reeling from the sudden loss of one of its brightest stars. For those who had admired Chandler's talent, charisma, and larger-than-life presence, his passing was nothing short of a profound and heartbreaking loss. In the years since his death, Jeff Chandler has remained a cherished and revered figure in the annals of Hollywood history. He is remembered not only for his remarkable talent as an actor but also for the indelible impact he left on the hearts and minds of those who had the privilege of knowing him. As a towering figure of the golden age of Hollywood, Chandler's legacy endures as a testament to the enduring power of cinema and the timeless allure of one of its most beloved icons. Though he may be gone, his spirit lives on in the hearts of fans around the world, a shining beacon of talent, charisma, and the enduring legacy of a true Hollywood legend.